Hey everyone, buckle up because history has just been made. Donald Trump has won the 2024 presidential election, marking an unprecedented return to the White House. Yeah, you heard that right. At 78, Trump is set to become the oldest president in US history and the first former president to regain office after a defeat. Now, while the official results are still pending, Trump has secured enough votes to defeat Democratic nominee Kamala Harris. World leaders are already extending their congratulations, but we might have to wait several days or even weeks for the official confirmation. So what's next? Trump and his vice president-elect J.D. Vance are diving into the transition process. This means outlining policy priorities and receiving national security briefings. The new U.S. Congress will gather on January 6th to officially count the Electoral College votes and confirm Trump as the next president. On the eve of the election, both Trump and Harris were out there rallying their supporters. Harris spoke in Philadelphia, pushing for unity and practical solutions. Meanwhile, Trump was in Raleigh, North Carolina, focusing on his campaign promises. There were some legal battles in Pennsylvania over mail ballots, but those have been resolved. Oprah Winfrey even weighed in, stressing the election's significance for democracy. Harris went door-to-door -door in Pennsylvania, while Trump's rallies saw lower attendance than usual. Joe Biden's campaign ended quietly, with voters feeling a mix of anxiety and hope. In Wisconsin, Republican Senate candidate Eric Hovder accepted the election outcome, showing a sign of unity. As the campaign wrapped up, both candidates made their final appeal. Harris was confident in her victory, while Trump received a last-minute endorsement from Joe Rogan. So here we are with the election results highlighting the importance of battleground states, like Pennsylvania and Michigan. Trump's return to the White House is nothing short of historic, and it's going to be interesting to see what the next four years hold. Stay tuned, because this political story is far from over. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.